Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have designed Ein's Ul Gown, and now finally we are going to unleash him against all of these armies. In three, two, one, go. So I was reading this manga a couple years ago called Overlord, and I was a little interested, but didn't really get too far into it. And then recently, everyone's like, oh my god, Ein's Ul Gown. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know that name. Why do I know that name? Sure enough, the internet is going crazy over an anime called Overlord. So I was like, you know what? I'm curious. I'm going to check it out. Guys, I've just finished season one and I'm totally hooked. I'm so hooked that I'm going to try and make Ein's Ul Gown for you here in tabs. Am I going to be successful? I have no idea. But we're going to try. Let's go to our custom unit creator and make a brand new unit. And the first thing we can do to make our, our, our wobbler look more like Ein's is to turn him into a stiffy. Congratulations. We have an undead skeleton base to work with. I just hope we can find the clothes. Oh, this is going to be bad. One thing I know that we can do to help is first and foremost, making him a little bit bigger because Ein's is pretty tall. If you guys notice that I'm going to make him 30% taller than every other unit. It's almost too tall. Man, what, 20%, 20, 20%. There we go. He's a big man. And another thing I know we can add, if we actually have a picture of Ein's, Ein's is left-handed. I don't know if you knew this. He holds his staff in his left hand. So we can get the, the staff. Uh, we can get like maybe the priest staff. Yeah, okay. And then we can turn it completely gold because the staff of Ein's Ul Gaon is made out of gold. This is a luscious gold color. There we go. Now, I would love, love to add the different seven god gems on the top but we can't do that because we're limited with what we can do here in tabs so far we have a tall skeleton holding onto a metal stick now for the hard part the clothes so i got a picture of eins over here on my screen i'll flash on the screen for you so you can see the picture of eins now we need to try to figure out how to do this let's start with a hood i need a hood of sorts let me just type in hood and see what we have okay all right okay let's uh give him a hood and we'll make the hood go black for now here's the start oh this isn't gonna work okay we're gonna spend a lot of time in the torso section trying to find i need a shirt that's open chested because for some reason i like to show off his um his his chest his gaping naked skeleton chest Thing. So we need a shirt that can do that. And um, this is, uh, this, um, at least on the plus side, we can dress him in layers because Ainz is wearing multiple, multiple layers. Hey, this is kind of exposed in the chest. This could be a start, a start of our tabs. Ainz, let's just make it black. And yeah, just gonna make it all black. Now I know he has a lot of purple involved and we'll get there, I, I hope. I hope we'll get there. Not done on the torso. He needs more, more sh shoulder bulk, more, more size in his torso to make this Ein's old gown look even remotely possible. Doesn't Ein's have some gold around his neck? What about a gold collar of sorts? If something came down to a point, that would be. In that's not bad. That's not bad. I might consider this one. But I'm leaning to this one as a, a golden collar around his neck to simulate what happened to. The eyes there. Guys, this is probably gonna go horribly, but we're gonna ooh, pirate coat. Hey, more bulk. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, we're on to something here. We're on to something here. Make it black. Make it oh I look, look, look at this trim. Purple. Dark purple. The darkest purple this game will let me go. I can't get any darker than this. Though so, hold on. Those that, that was pinks. Dark purple. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's a good purple. Now we're on to something. If you look at the Ainz picture, Ainz has the purple trim on his cloak, and we got purple trim on this cloak. <laughs> Can't believe we're getting some headway here. Now there is a bit of a problem. Ainz's robes go all the way to the floor, and I don't think this game lets us do that. I can give Ainz a skirt. <laughs> we're not giving Ainz a skirt now. It's terrible. There are no pieces of clothing that go that low. Apparently the developers of tabs don't believe in length, full length gowns. So we're going to go with the Artemis skirt, which is about as far down as we can go. And we're going to color it black for the time being. And we'll continue on to continue to try and turn this guy into Ainz Ul Gaon. Torso, torso, torso. Ainz is so broad in the shoulders. How do we make this guy thicker in the shoulders? I'm thinking body armor? Because Ainz actually, look at this picture, he has like this silvery shoulder pad thing going on. I don't know if we can get remotely close to that, but we can at least try. 
Let's go to the medieval section. Oh, what if I take this one, make it black with that little purple accent like that. A little thicker in the shoulders, but that's not the, the silver part on top. That's just the dark part on the side. Is there a top shoulder metal plates? These are all on the side. These are on the side. All of this is on the side. This is kind of on the top, maybe a little bit. Um, I don't think we're going to get any more on the top than that because the game won't let me. Come on, guys. Look, look at this. He looks just like Ein's wool gown, right? <laughs> Hold on. There's one thing I got to fix. Ah, uh, the pirate coat. I'm going to turn this to gold because if we get the picture, yeah, Heinz has the gold trim on the wrists. How do we make this guy look even more like Heinz? I mean, there's lots of shirt options. There's lots of gown options, but they cover the chest and Heinz's chest is exposed because he wants to show that he is not afraid of any weapon and any weapon may penetrate his chest cage. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Heinz is wearing a giant cloak and I don't think anything in this game is going to remotely resemble that massive cloak. Not to mention the giant bone antlers coming off the sides of his head. There's, there's nothing like that in this game at all. Hmm, a pirate vest. I could include that just to add some more layers to Ein's to thicken them out a little bit more. Spook spooky hood. Spooky hood. This could be an even better hood than our... Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's adding a little something, something. Does that mean I can take this tab G hood, maybe make it purple? No, there's some crazy clipping. Do I remove the tab G hood? Yes. That's actually a little bit better, a little more Eins like than before. Still keeping the chest exposed, still have the yellow around the neck, the white, yep, yeah, the silver shoulder pads, the staff. This is not bad. <laughs> it could be better, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. And I'm just so upset that there is no dress that goes to the floor, no gown. That goes to the floor. Everything is either just legs and that's it. And even if I go into the feet section, you can't find a bottom half of a skirt. That'd be phenomenal, but those do not exist. All we have are just footwear, 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 footwear. Sadly, Ainz's legs are bare. He's rocking the short gown version today. Wait, there is something we can add. Dark peasant eyes can i change the color of dark peasant eyes no eyes his eyes are just pure darkness i think the dark peasant eyes are as close as we're gonna get to eyes ulgaun's eyes ladies and gentlemen this is as close as we can get to eyes ulgaun here in toilet for battle simulator visually now to move over to his powers. Thinking back to the anime, we know Ainz can cast spells. Very typical magical spells from typical fantasy realms like fireballs and lightning bolts. So we can for certain let him cast lightning on his enemies. Thor lightning. We can do that for sure. We also know for certain that he is able to cast a fireball. So I'm going to let him cast fireball. I mean, we can give him a thunderbolt throw, but he's already casting thunder from the skies. We'll give him the fireball in the hands. Oh, baby, baby. Yes, please. Also, Ainz can fly. He gets the hover for sure. Ainz can also cast a chain lightning. And we know Thor is not Thor's. Zeus's lightning can do a chain lightning. Can the priest staff? No, 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 no. No, the priest staff isn't going to heal. The priest staff is going to cast lightning. Chain lightning from Zeus's lightning bolts itself. Self. So you can summon lightning from the sky, Zeus chain lightning from the staff, and fireball. There's three different offensive spells, as well as the fly. There's four. I also know he can cast a wall of protection from arrows. So lightning projectile block seems like a very good choice. And you know what? A wall of ice around him is very much an ability I could see Ein's will gown casting. Oh, I do remember watching season one. He did have a spell that summoned these spikes from the ground to shoot at an opponent. So Vlad Impale is also very much an Ein's ability. This guy's going to be insane. If you remember with the final fight in season one, he casted so many buff spells on him and he's pretty much impervious to all weak, similar, simple melee attacks. So his hit points are going to be astronomical size is perfect weight is fine movement speed he's not super quick 
you can like he walks very slowly he walks very casually when he's flying in the sky he can be quick but for the most part he's pretty chill because he's a leader and leaders are supposed to be chill so we'll leave speed alone attack speed and we'll give him a 20 times and damage well it's Heinz so we're gonna add some zeros and we're gonna see what happens let's take a picture of our lovely Heinz here fantastic he is the overlord of the great tomb of Nazareth and his name Heinz I can't spell <laughs> Ool Gown and he's worth 320 million points <laughs> Let's take a look at Ein's Ool gown. There he is. Put him down. I just want to walk up. I just want to swim up. Swim? Fly? Hover? I move towards him? Those eyes are dude. I love them. They're fantastic. Again, I wish I can get the headpiece that Ein's has with those amazing bone spike things going on. But we can't. This is as close as we can get to making Ein's in totally accurate battle simulator short of finding a way to import custom models, which is above and beyond my capabilities. Let's take Ein's for a bit of a spin. We're just gonna grab some squires to start. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have designed Ein's Ul gown, and now finally we are going to unleash him against all of these armies in three, two, one, go. Ein's moving in he's able to summon lightning look at that fantastic that is beyond beautiful eyes moving in throwing the fireballs and his staff has the chain lightning because we know eyes can use chain lightning phenomenal he didn't even need to use his other abilities his ground spike his ice tomb all he had to use was his chain lightning his fireball and his thunder from the sky Let's give him some stronger opponents, so hopefully he can use some of his better abilities. This time, Ainz is nice and close to the armies. And we're going to see what he's going to do. Slow-mo, the knights are about to charge in. Ainz raises his staff. Lightning struck. There's the ice tomb. I've never seen this this close. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. The ice tomb is so powerful. There's the ground spike. Ice has... Heinz has so many spells. He has so many abilities. Why is everything black? And his staff, the chain lightning from his staff, is just insane. Oh, this character is so good. Now Heinz is going to face some of our other creations. First, we have Krusty, Hobo Fred, Steve, and then Hobo Fred and Steve. There's Krusty the Clown, looking fantastic. Hobo Fred, you homeless man. Steve the horse, and then Hobo Fred riding Steve. Let's see if any of them has a chance against Ein's Ul Gown, the lightning, the chain lightning, the ice tomb. Holy moly. Ein's, calm down. Give these guys a chance. Next up, we're going to try our most recent creation, the doctor. He is in. She is in. And she's ready to drop some dynamite on Ein's Ul Gown. Here's the dynamite launching into the sky. The lightning bolt was cast. Ainz is being peppered by dynamite, shrugging it off. Rapid fire dynamite. Ainz, you're gonna like cast some lightning or throw a fireball. There it is. Yep, that the chain lightning from the staff. That's more than enough. God, he's strong. Ainz versus the Ninjabi. Guys, remember the Ninjabi? I love this little girl. She's fantastic. Our Ninja Bee Queen is phenomenal and it's probably going to throw a bajillion shurikens at Ainz who has lightning deflect and it felt to me like lightning deflect was the best kind of deflect to use for him because his spells are protecting him as opposed to like his his physical ability but there's a lot of shurikens being thrown by the ninjabi but luckily Ainz is immune to basic physical attacks hence it's giving him so much hp Ainz needs to cast some spells or else a Ninjabi is going to simply push him off the map. Um, come on, Ainz. You can do it. You're, you're, getting, you're getting put into a corner. You're, you're, the Ninjabi is pushing you into a corner. How much HP did I give the Ninjabi? I have no idea. Where's, where's the Ninjabi? There she is. So the Lightning Deflect can stop some of them. But after a while, there's just so many. Um, Ainz. We're reaching the edge of the map, buddy. You you should do something here. Something against this Ninjabi. Yep, keep summoning lightning. This Ninjabi's not fair. The Narbag is insane. It's almost like she's being crowd or she's crowd controlling Ainz, preventing Ainz from doing anything, casting any spells, keeping Ainz on the defensive the whole time. Uh, don't mind me. Just a Ninja B. Chilling. 
Launch of nines. Walking around. <laughs> Doing this thing. We're going to step it up. This is Larry the Transcendent. Larry the God. I honestly don't know who's going to win this fight. Larry's powerful, guys. He's really, really strong. And he has these super peasant fists, which means he's going to fly straight into battle right at Ainz. Will Ainz be able to survive? Ainz's ability protects him from weak physical attacks, but Larry's fists are not weak physical attacks. Here we go. Larry diving in. Hitting Ainz. Ainz survived. No, Ainz did not survive. He survived one. He did not survive two. Ainz is a powerful mortal in his realm. But Larry... Larry's a god. I mean, Larry's leg was snapped back in half, but he doesn't even care. What about Brody? Brody versus Ainz Ulgaon. Brody slams Ainz through the dirt. There's got to be a way to have the fight continue without slamming them through the ground. I like to see Ainz being thrown by the Dark Hand of God. That's fine. I can see that happening in the anime, but I don't want it going through the earth because if that happens, it's like the fight's over and you never have a chance to see the real fight. Let's try it here in this place, the simulation map. Will he go through the ground here as well? No, he didn't go through the ground. Okay, we might be able to have a full fight. There is the ice. Hold on. Didn't I give Brody a whole bunch of HP as well? <laughs> Isn't Brody practically immortal as well? I don't know who has more HP, Ainz or Brody. <laughs> Brody's supposed to be a god. He is supposed to be deadly. And so far, the chain lightning's being blocked by the dark hands of God. The ice tombs are affecting him. But I don't know. I honestly don't know who's going to win this. My money's on Brody because again, Brody's a god. And even though Ainz is very powerful, he's still immortal. Being slammed over and over and over and over into the ground. Let's pause the fight. Brody taking like no damage. Ainz taking like no damage. Guys, this this fight, this fight could last for all of eternity. Neither Brody nor Ainz seems to be remotely close to winning this fight. This is where we're at in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more awesome creations and totally accurate battle simulator, comment down below and let me know. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.